G'day guys, I'm Alvin Powell and I'm super excited because today I'm installing my XEM drawer into my Ute canopy. And of course, I'm going to show you how I do it so that you can do it too. Really excited for this guys because my last drawer I've got in my other canopy, you can see in the background, is just a timber drawer that I knocked up in a day to get me going and it's actually lasted me like eight years now. Uh, it's fine for me to use but it's got no runners or anything so it's really hard for the missus to get to. It's a bit high bit heavy so that's why I'm going for the XTM drawers with the rollers and all this all the nice stuff to put into the camping canopy that I'm doing a build on so first things first let's get out of the box and uh, see what it comes with maybe have a reader of the instructions and then I can go from there Alrighty guys, excuse the sound of the rain, I'm just in my shed working away. Okay, I've uh, unpacked the box, had a bit of a look around at what I, what I got with it and put it in place in the in the ute where I want it. I want it as close as I can to the edge of the door where I can open it and uh, as close as I can to the lip as well but I had to push it back about 40 mils just so the, the door latch, you can't see it, but just so the door latch will uh, still have enough room to close. So. Yeah, 40 mils from the front of the edge and then as close as I can to there, just enough clearance. In my canopy, I had to lift it up uh, 40 mils, so I'm just using some 40 by 40 square tubing and that lifts it enough, just, just enough for the door to clear underneath, but there's a little latch at the bottom and that just touches the, um, the lip of the door, but it, it doesn't touch on the seal which is what i wanted so it's just perfect i can just hold the latch anyway if i need to and it won't touch otherwise just push it and it'll go over the the lip of the door anyway so now i'm going to cut my 40 by 40 i just trial fitted it to make sure i've got enough height and clearance which i do i'm going to cut them down to length and then move on to the next step the length i need to cut these tubing is 47 centimeters that is the width of the drawers so pretty much they've already, already got feet at the bottom of the drawers and this will just be a spacer between that and the bottom of my canopy so 47 centimeters i don't have a drop saw i wish i had my drop saw but it's in brizzy so it's got the good old angle grinder to cut it with but it should be all right anyway all right well marked out time to grind always remember safety first okay guys so i've cut and file the ends of the tubing and go rid of all the sharp burrs so it won't hurt you while, while you're working on it nonetheless i'm going to put those ends towards the canopy wall where there's not much space so i won't be really doing much with that end and put these ends towards the in the middle of the canopy just in case you know it's nicer finish than my file burrs uh, these are this is what it looks like on the bottom of the the drawers these two can be moved there's there's holes so if you're mounting it on um in your wagon you can adjust them to where the holes are and the mounting points are in your wagon but for me that um going on the ute i'm just going to leave them as they are and i'm probably going to use the front one and the very back one uh, they only give you four m10 mounting bolts to mount it so they're obviously deemed they're adequate but um just for now because my canopy is still on my ute it is a jack-off canopy but it's still on, on my ute so i can't get to the underneath of it for right now i'm just gonna use these as a spacer like that and i'm just gonna put a coach bolt or a a, uh, a roofing screw pretty much probably three on each one through this and into my tray uh, and into the base of my canopy one there one down there and then next time when i have my canopy off probably next week i will um take them out again and use those bolts or maybe get a couple more bolts and use the bolts to hold it in with a nice big washer at the bottom to spread the load anyways that's the plan so let's put it into action okay guys so to make it easy to access the base i might take the top off this off uh, it doesn't say so to do in the instructions but i can't see a way uh, to i can't see any other way to to get to it and um, easily do it so by the looks of it it's just a few screws one two three four eight screws holding the top in and they give you a nice allen key to go with it so we'll just do that it 
easy as that guys. Now of course it's going to be a lot easier to lay it down and do it. I'm just doing it this way because it's easier for me to, to film it. Alrighty guys, so I've just taken the um, tubing that I got, just text screwed it, oh, as you can see, I just text screwed it to the bracket drawer just to hold it in place and then now I'm going to drill out where I want the holes to be and then we can shift it into the U and screw it down. Alrighty, so by the way, you would have seen earlier, I've actually decided to use this one here uh, instead of the bottom one just because it's really hard to get to the to the bottom bracket to screw it in. Anyway, I'm just going to drill it with a 6.5mm for now, which is big enough for my 12 gauge metal screw to go through into the tray. And when I, uh, when I change to the bolts, then I will um, drill the hole out bigger. Alrighty, got my holes. Pretty little at the bottom of my feet. Time to throw it in. Just remembering my measurements from before, I wanted 40 mil spacing from the edge of the doorway and as close to there as I can, which was pretty much if that is in line with the doorway, I'll be sweet. I'm gonna jump in there with my roofing screws, my drill, tape measure get comfortable. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna screw the front one in from the, in from the outside. Should be able to reach and just get him. I'm just using 65mm roofing screws, so yeah, 40mm off the, the base plate. Should give me a good enough penetration to get to the threads. Alright, let's check it out and see how secure she feels. Yeah, she feels pretty secure with just with those um, roofing screws, but when I take the canopy off next, I will get around to putting those nut and bolts in with the washers at the bottom to spread the load out a bit more. I'm in a bit of a hurry trying to finish this off because I've got to get, drive down to Brisbane to pick up a new rooftop tent for this thing. So now I'm going to chuck the drawer in just to make sure everything fits and operates like it should before I put the top on. Alrighty. That's pretty smooth. That little bit of movement I have, I think it's just from the rollers themselves, because it's obviously never going to be a perfectly tight fit, otherwise it won't roll that easily. All right, time to put the top back on, and that should just about be it. Alright guys, the top is on and that is job done. Pretty simple little job, even with the you know extra work I have to do with the feet to clear the thing. And so the the bottom of this latch does still hit on the canopy lip, but it doesn't hit the seal, so I'm alright with that. Just gotta try and remember to hold it in when I push it. Well, really, it doesn't really matter, it just it still goes in and works. So I guess a bit of a disclaimer before I finish the video, I have no affiliation with XTM or BCF where I bought it from. And I'm just showing you guys the way that I've installed it to give you some ideas. It may not be right, uh, but I think it should be okay. So now, now that the drawer is finished, I can move on with the next part of this canopy build, which is probably going to be 12 volt setup, so I can get some lights in here because this black canopy, she's really dark in there. So the first time I've had a black canopy, and it is really, really dark. Really hard to see anything in there. So get a battery in there, get some lights in there, and my DC to DC charger all hooked up. That'll be the next one. So guys, if you're interested in that and following along with the canopy build, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, if this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button and I'll catch you on the next one. Catches.